What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in today's video, I wanna break down how to start your business with absolutely no money, all right? And this could work if you have a social media marketing agency, if you just want, honestly, really any type of business. And this whole concept came to me actually this past weekend. I was talking with my, my younger brother. I've got a brother that's actually 16 years old. He's still in high school and he goes to this charter school and this charter school actually is really cool because I went to college and I studied business entrepreneurship and some of the things he's doing in his classes in high school were things that I didn't do until, it, and like I was actually into my degree in college, right? And so one of his classes, like I, it was a class very similar to the class I had, all you have to do through the whole semester is make a thousand bucks, right? Like that's what your grade is based on. If you can go through, make a thousand dollars. And so to go start the year, so like he just barely started this, this class this semester, they, what they did is on Friday, they gave every student a pine cone, right? So they give them a pine cone and they're like, okay, you have to return back and you have to have at least $50 in cash. Okay. So basically the idea is, it's kind of like that game bigger or better. You have to go trade that pine cone for something else and then trade whatever that something else is for something else. And then come back that next Monday with $50 of cash. And it was just basically to get them thinking creatively, right? And Anyway, so the teacher, my, my brother raises his hand and is like, hey, so what's the most somebody's ever brought back? He's like, um, 150 bucks. And my brother, he's kind of funny kid. He's, he's very confident in himself. He's like, well, I'm gonna 10 times that. And so everyone's like, wow, you're gonna bring back 1,500 bucks, right? Like, that, right, you know? So anyway, he goes and he takes his pine cone. And there was a few rules. You couldn't trade with like family members or you couldn't trade with any teachers just if they're like gonna go through and be nice with you. And I think you had to make like three or four trades of actual like physical goods, physical products before you tra tra traded it for um, actual cash. Okay, so my brother, he went through and he, he was getting really creative with it. He took that, that pine cone, right? So basically guys, the whole concept of this is if you're creative, like th there's nothing that should be stopping you. I mean, he literally took a pine cone. I'm gonna talk, walk through what he did. So he took that and they said, hey, you can't trade with teachers. And he was like, well, Hey, I'm good friends with some people in the administration, like in the, the principal's office and all that stuff. They're not technically teachers. So he went over there and he's like, Hey, I've got this pine cone, told him a little about the experiment. And this one lady in the office, one of the secretaries, I think she gave him a half bottle of sunscreen. So it was like halfway used. It was, you know, not, not that valuable. So she's like, yeah, here you go. Here's some sunscreen. I'm not, not really using. And so then he takes his half bottle of sunscreen and I'm not sure exactly. It was kind of hard for like when he was explaining to me, I didn't really get it. But it was like some like this uh, this like neon light up board that you have like letterings and stuff like that on it. So he traded the sunscreen for this little like dinky lettering board or something like that. And then he took the lettering board and honestly, I, I can't remember. There was like he had like two more trades and then he I can't remember what it was, but he took whatever that second thing or so he went traded for the sunscreen, the neon lettering board, and then he had one or two trades in between there. And then he went to one of his neighbors and traded it for an old wakeboard that he had sitting in um, his garage. All of his kids had grown, they were gone. So he just is like, hey, here you go, I, I got this, do you have anything for me? He's like, yeah, I've got this old wakeboard, I was cleaning out my garage anyway, I was gonna get rid of it, you can have this old wakeboard. Now, the wakeboard still, I mean, wakeboards go, brand new ones go for probably like five, 600 bucks, so it's probably like a you know $200 value there. And so what he did, is he then he's he's been wanting to learn how to go through and remodel homes do construction and all that stuff and he's been working with this guy um who's one of my good friends and he's been kind of like you know coaching him teaching him through all the stuff and so he went and this was like genius right like most kids i don't think or most people in general don't think about this but he went and he, he went to this guy and this guy is actually he's a wakeboard as well he's like hey man i've got this wakeboard for you i will give you this wakeboard plus i will give you X amount of hours of my time. I don't remember what the number was. I'll give you this wakeboard plus X amount of numbers of my time for 1500 bucks. Okay. Now most people are like, man, 1500 bucks. Like that's crazy. Like why would he give them? And what his answer was, was he's like, is that all you want? Like is, is 1500 bucks enough? Okay. So anyway, he gives him 1500 bucks cash. He goes into school that next Monday. He shows up, shows the teacher, hey, I've already made my 1500 bucks. Well, he made 1500 bucks, which he only had to make a thousand for the whole semester. And so now they're like jumping into their group team projects to go through and actually start their real business, right? So a few, few little things that I want to kind of dissect and talk about here. So one, 
how to start a business with absolutely no money number one guys you got to get creative okay you can start with nothing I know people have done this experiment with like a paper clip different things you start with a pine cone go out in nature find a pine cone find something and just go through and have a little fun with it right the second core thing okay and this is huge guys is it's not always just um, when you're getting started especially when you have no money like a lot of times if you're gonna go let's say t start a t-shirt company right like Nike was starting a shoe company you need some money up front to go buy inventory to be able to sell your product right well what is the one thing that you can always sell and make money with without having to go invest any money in inventory your time right okay so my brother he was genius with this where he went through and he took that wake where we had something of value still but then he combined it with his time saying hey I will work for you I will go through he wanted to learn that skill set he wanted to go through dive in learn how to go and find the right homes to purchase um, for the right deals and then go remodel and then flip them or rent them out or do whatever and I think he's wanting to go through an Airbnb some different homes and stuff so anyway guys going through and trading your time in the beginning for um, for money and then as you go through and grow and grow and you start saving up some money then you can go take that money that you've saved up and go buy other inventory maybe go buy ads to get more leads to get more clients in or something like that so the kind of leading all this whole story this whole example is if you're going through and you're like wondering okay how do I start a business with absolutely no money what is the best business to start um, especially in 2018 how like how do I go through and leverage my time my skill sets what do I go through and invest my time in to learn and I honestly think that the number one best thing to do when you're just getting started is going and starting a marketing agency right a social media marketing agency and going through and helping different business owners generate leads market their business because that's key to any business out there every business needs leads every business needs more exposure they need marketing they need more advertising okay in the meantime while you're trying to get that core product if you go to a business owner that already has some type of core product and just tell them hey I will help you generate leads I'll help you go market your business get more exposure all I got to do is give my time and then you go buy the advertising so you you spend your money on the ads you know and then you just pay me either hourly or like a monthly retainer or something like that and you go through and start that business and then you can start getting more and more clients you get results for one client you take those results and then you market and you post all over social media about those results and you get more and more and more clients right now what we've done is I, when I first started this is kind of how I first started guys so like I know it works because this is exactly what I did I went through and I started getting marketing clients and I knew that they all wanted leads okay I knew they needed leads to grow their business but my only problem is what I would do is I would go through and I would find oh this chiropractor needs help I'll go I'll go help them Oh, this real estate agent needs help. I'll help them. Oh, Dennis needs help. I'll help them. And I was going through and helping anyone and everyone because I was just I just saw money, right? I just saw dollar signs. I was like, sweet, like I'm, I'm just getting started. I like I want to start making some money. And so I would take on all these clients, but then it was tough because I couldn't go and say, hey, I got results for this chiropractor, and I couldn't take those results I got for the chiropractor and go pitch a dentist, right? Because he's like, well, I'm not necessarily a chiropractor, it's, it's a little different, or I'm not a real estate agent or I'm not a network marketer or you know whatever business you're in and so what I did to finally really go through and scale my business is I went and I focused on one industry okay I focused on real estate and I was like okay I know I can get results for real estate agents I've done it before and so I went and I took those results and I just focused on working with real estate agents and I went through and I every time I got more testimonies more case studies more results I go through and post about those let everyone know and then I would just specifically focus on real estate and and just go down that niche and and, and able to go through and really grow my business with absolutely no money to get started all right then from there what you can do is you can go out on a back-end software right where you can have like some monthly recurring revenue coming in you can go out on some different offers but initially if you want to start completely from scratch from the comfort of your own home where you can live the lifestyle that you want and you know not have any startup costs you need to go through and initially focus on one specific industry one niche okay and trade your time for dollars okay and then go through and start building that eventually you can hire other people to help you 
and go through and grow that business, right? So anyway, guys, um, I actually put together a course on exactly what I have done to go through and grow my business of how I went through, started my business completely from scratch, brought on existing, brought on new clients, was able to go through, build up that that whole base, and then go and start a software company. And it's it's just gone through and grown a ton since then. So anyway, the the link to that is down in the comment section. And if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful, if you like the story of the cool like pine cone story, all that stuff, make sure you guys like the video and comment down below. Let me know what you're doing to go through and start your business. And let me know some of the creative things that you're doing to go through start your business with absolutely no money. All right. And if you guys are brand new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe because we launch a new video every single day, or at least that is the goal to launch every single day on how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business, right? So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today. With that said, um, have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.